The Biggest, Baddest Wolf by Nick Ward. I am the greatest, howled Harem Scarum, admiring himself in the mirror as he brushed his fangs. I am the biggest, baddest, hairiest, scariest wolf in the city. Harem Scarum looked at his watch. Hmm, time for some fun, he said. Harem Scarum's idea of fun was to scare people. After all, he was the biggest, baddest, hairiest, scariest wolf in the city. Have I got everything? He wondered aloud, patting his pockets. Money? Mince? Teddy? Oops, where's my teddy bear? No one knew that Harem Scarum had a teddy bear and that he couldn't go anywhere without him. Ah, there you are, he cried, giving Teddy a big, wet, wolfy kiss. He put Teddy in his back pocket and happily stepped out for the day. First stop was the park, where Harem Scarum had some fun scaring all the little children playing on the swings. Run, little children, run, or I'll eat you up, he howled. Eek, they screamed and ran away. I'm the biggest, baddest, hairiest, scariest wolf in the city, he cried out after them. Harem Scarum moved on to the bus stop where a group of old people were waiting. Run, old people, run, or I'll eat you up, he hollered. Eek, they screamed and toddled away all the way home. I'm the biggest, baddest, hairiest, scariest wolf in the city, he called after them. For the rest of the day, Harem Scarum worked very hard at scaring anyone he could. He startled the skateboarder. He petrified the builder, and he made the street jugglers jump. Now, this is what I call fun, he said. By the time he got home, he was so tired, he decided to go straight to bed. And that's when he discovered he'd lost his teddy bear. Oh no, he said, frantically searching his room. He looked here, he looked there, but he couldn't find his teddy anywhere. Harem Scarum crawled sadly into bed. He tossed and he turned, but he couldn't get to sleep without his teddy bear to cuddle with. The next morning, Harem Scarum was a nervous wreck. I have to find my teddy bear, he wailed, and he hurried outside without even brushing his fangs. He paced the streets, Teddy, Teddy. He searched in every alley, Teddy. He looked high, Teddy. He looked low, Teddy. But he was nowhere to be seen. Finally, Harem Scarum arrived at the bus stop. Excuse me, have you seen my teddy bear? He asked the old people. But as soon as they saw him, they tottered off, shouting, Help! It's the biggest, baddest, hairiest, scariest wolf in the city! Harem Scarum went to the park. Excuse me, he began. But the little children all ran away shouting, Help! He's the biggest, baddest, hairiest, scariest wolf in the city. Oh, Harem Scarum sighed, and a tear rolled down his cheek. But just then, he noticed a little boy left playing on his own. And he was playing with Harem Scarum's teddy bear.
my teddy bear, gasped Ham Scarum. My teddy bear, said the boy, finders, keepers. Well, please give them back, Ham Scarum whimpered. I'm the biggest, baddest, hairiest, scariest wolf in the city. Well, you don't look scary to me, said the little boy. Please, cried Ham Scarum, I'll do anything to get Teddy back. Do you promise to do exactly what you're told from now on, said the little boy? Of course, he said. The very next morning, after a good night's sleep, Ham Scarum brushed his fangs, patted his pocket, whistling happily as he left home and went straight to the park. Hurry up, cried the children. We're on the swings. Come and push us. Coming, called Harem Scarum with a smile as he trotted toward the children. Run, little children. Run, or I'll eat you up cried the children, running away. You promised. Well, what did you expect? Asked Harem Scarum, hugging his teddy bear. You should never trust the biggest, baddest, hairiest, scariest wolf in the city.